Mortal Kombat has released a trailer, so there's going to be a film about it and I'm super excited because that is the game that I was never allowed to play as a kid. However, I did. I know, badass me. Now, I'm going to strip the entire audio from that trailer and re-sound design it using nothing but my voice. I think it's gonna be fun. Let's do it. All right, what I'm gonna do next is just make a list of all the sounds that I'm gonna need and then I'm gonna try and record them. We do have a woman speaking. I can't do woman voices, or can I? Hello, I'm a woman. <laughs> Doesn't sound good, I think. Okay, I have to think about that. How are we gonna fix it? What's the best approach? I don't know. I'm going to strip the audio, have the laptop sit in front of me, and just start recording. Let's do that. Maybe we should find good acoustics. Uh. All right, I think it's best we're going to do it here. Voila. Now, to avoid any plops or winds, I'm actually going to add the dead cat to it. And that way you're definitely avoiding any plops. All right, here we go. This is hard. <laughs> All right, I should just go shot by shot. That is gonna be better, I think. It's good, it's good. That's the first sound. Hey, uh, Jordy, that's not your mouth. Oh, that is gonna be tricky. Do we also have to do the music? That is impossible to do your own music. I can't even keep a tone. Is that good? No, that, that's a dog. <laughs> Trying to do like the hits. I can't do that, right? I have to do everything by voice. Ah, that's hard. <coughs> I think that was good. Maybe you can layer some sounds. Yeah, oh yeah, layer some sounds. That is a good idea. That's the first layer. That's the second layer. That's the third layer. Now comes the speech of the girl. What did she say? Her lips do this. I have an epiphany, guys. What if we do some deep faking or something with her to let her lips do a different movement so I could just record anything that I want? Janik! I'm not a real woman. I'm not a real woman. I'm not a real woman. Hey, Richard, there's something you should know. I'm a man. Oh, I should also do like a voiceover. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, in a world. Holy f that was it. I think I got all the sounds. Let's uh, edit it. Snip, snip, snip. Janik, I need your help with something. There's gonna be a woman who's going to talk or say something. Can you like change her lip movements? I, I can try. Nice, so we got someone who's working at the, at the lip movement. And now I just have to load in all the sounds, pick out the best things, and hopefully Akusonis is going to help me. I don't know why, but I have a lot of interference on the audio. How is that possible? We can instantly try out the noise remover from Akusonis. <laughs> I think I finished, uh, or at least I've got all my sounds underneath the edit. I haven't like processed them yet with the Era 5 plugins, but all of the sounds are in a timeline. So uh, you guys want to see it? Yes. <laughs> I think you need a lot of mixing to make this <laughs> sound good. You can see these guys are very supportive. Constructive criticism. I've got all of my voice effects in the timeline right now. What I'm gonna do next is change my voice because after all, we don't wanna hear that it's my voice. We wanna perceive it as actual sound effects. So that's why I'm gonna use the Era 5 plugins from Ecusonus. And these mostly come in two categories. We got audio restoration tools like a de-reverb, de-noise, etc., and audio enhancers like an equalizer, a voice deepener. Now, Acusonis is probably the most affordable audio solution on the market today. It only costs $9.99 a month. Now, what you get with that is the Era 5 bundle, which comes with monthly updates, but also they have an entire library of sound effects and instrumental royalty-free music that you both can use for commercial projects. And that is incredible. Unfortunately, I cannot use any of these libraries because I'm gonna have to do everything with my voice. So you just go back into Premiere and we're gonna work with the plugins.
By the way, guys, check out the first link in the description down below to learn more about Acusonus and the Era 5 plugins. Really cool. Jordi asked me to do the VFX with the lips, but I didn't find the AI that could do it in time. So now I'm just thinking to film Kim, Jordi's fiance, and just paste her mount on the actual footage. But to do that, I need to recreate the same lighting as they have, so I can place Kim right here, shine the lights on her, film her, and paste it in After Effects on the actual footage. I'm a man, Richard. Man Richard. Man Richard. This looks really good and I think it's very clever from Janik to not do this in After Effects with the puppet tool and all but just record Kim's actual lips. So thank you Kim. You're welcome. <laughs> and Janik, how is it going? Uh, actually pretty smooth. My tracking isn't working so I'm gonna hand animate it but it's only 24 frames, so that is going to be easy. Then the only thing I need to do is some color grading and some final touches and then I'm finished. Easy. Now one of my favorite tools from the ERA bundle is probably the voice auto equalizer, which can also be used on sound effects, by the way. But basically what it's gonna do is just kind of listen to your sound clip first. But once it's done with that, you can very easily change a couple of parameters. Or you can equalize your clip to give it more body or give it more air or more clarity. That's up to you. Now, there's also a voice deepener, which is also pretty cool. And again, like before, just simply one knob and you even have one extra option here to make it more punchy. There are still a few sound effects that I'm missing and I don't want to go back into the studio, so I'm just going to use this mic right here. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So the, the breaking of ice, ice breaking, arms breaking effect. Okay, we got that. I think with some little bit of tweaking, we can get it right. <laughs> Janik, shut up! I'm doing sound effects. I think the dishwasher is on as well. Okay, that is a lot of noise. Now we can fix that. We can fix that. I'm gonna try the noise remover. Hopefully that's gonna work. This is really good. <laughs> the noise is gone and it did not alter my voice too much. So that is good. So we wanna have that like Hollywood voiceover. I'm gonna try and to do that with the voice equalizer. Oh, this is good. This is amazing. Wow. You gotta hear this, guys. I'm trapped. Oh, you gotta hear me out. This is, this is Hollywood voiceover, guys. This is... Ugh. One last thing, guys, and that is music. Now, I don't just wanna put music underneath it. I wanna do that with my voice as well. The only problem is I'm tone deaf. So I found this pitch detector online, and hopefully I can just keep on one tone. Let's try. <laughs> Fuck, this is hard. It's time for the premiere on the big screen. This seems like a good television spot. I don't trust this, so I'm gonna tape it. Ah! My copter tegen. Everyone, join me. You guys ready? Yes. I'm trapped, but they didn't listen. <laughs> Pretty good. Nice. If you wouldn't know it was you, you wouldn't notice it was your voice. Oscar worthy performance. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> this is good, right? It was definitely a fun experience, guys. And I think I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the results. I'm just, I'm just wondering, like, was it really necessary to put up this television, which isn't that much bigger than my actual monitor? Short answer, no. All right, guys, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, that you were kind of inspired to maybe make your own sound effects as well. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the end result. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Akusonus, for your support. And as always, stay creative.